Adamawa has one of the largest concentrations of livestock in the country, making up about 44% of the state's GDP. The National Livestock Transformation Plan and the World Bank-funded Livestock Productivity and Resilience Project are two programs being implemented in Adamawa, aimed at reforming the livestock sector to mitigate conflicts between farmers and herders, enhance livestock production and ensure food security. We are looking at revitalizing our veterinary clinics, our earth dams, we are looking at our abattoirs, we are looking at our markets, we are looking at dams, water points across the state. That is just to tell you, health press is not just about loan. <laughs> Governor Umar Fintiri has established the State Livestock Transformation Office to align with the activities of the National Livestock Transformation Plan, hoping to address the clashes between farmers and herders. Beyond limitation over these problems, we need to take action towards finding lasting solutions. Thus, the NLTP was designed to address and fix such challenges, not only related to livestock, but agriculture in general, including fisheries, forestry, water, and soil management, and so on. In line with our mantra, which promises to ensure that no one is left behind and nothing is left untouched. The project aims to provide headers with 30 hectares for 32 participating households to enable them to settle down in one place. It is under this project that nomadism, moving around with livestock, will eventually be brought to an end so that herders will settle in one place. And to do that, the philosophy here, what is it that these herdsmen are moving around for? They are moving in search of forage for their animals and water. So if you provide these two basic facilities or inputs, the herdsmen will settle. Under the project, farmers and herders are expected to develop a plan for settling conflicts to enable them to become part of the agricultural modernized process, thereby improving animal production and ensure food security.